Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. And welcome anyone that's new to these Facebook Live videos. I had um, a gal message me saying, you need to introduce yourself. So I'm gonna do that. I guess I realized, like I never realized that I didn't do that, right? I mean, I call it Frilici Friday. So welcome, I'm Amy Frilici. It's great to have you guys all here hanging out with me today. We're gonna have lots of fun. Hello, Miss Anna. We have uh, St. Patrick's Day, which I'm kind of embarrassed. I realized like I, I pulled my only, my only green shirt. So I am a huge Michigan, like maize and blue fan. So this like Sparty Spartan MSU green is not something that's really in my, uh, my closet in my repertoire of things to wear. So I have this one St. Patrick's Day shirt. Hello, Miss Deb. And I pulled it out. I'm like, oh, that literally says drinks well with others. And then it's got like, you know, green solo cups on it. I'm like, that's really probably not appropriate for Facebook, but we're doing it anyway on our Facebook Live. So I've got my St. Patty's Day green on. You can't pinch me, right? Because I've got my green on. Hopefully you guys are all, um, enjoying this beautiful Friday. Hello, Miss Bonnie, and thanks for sharing. Good morning, good morning. Um, yeah, so whatever you plan to do um, in terms of celebration for St. Patrick's Day, or if you don't even care about that, we're going to have some fun here today playing with, <clears throat> excuse me, I have like a frog in my throat. This is the, and I have to make sure I, yes, it's called Enjoy the Journey Designer Series Paper. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. <laughs> I'm glad you like the shirt. And thank you for sharing the video. Okay, so this is, like I said, the Enjoy the Journey Designer Series Paper, which it's this beautiful slow look at, like, I used to live in Colorado. That looks like the Colorado Rockies right there. It's beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna have to show you guys all. Okay, so that's one um, page. There's another one. Oh, that looks like a Colorado sunset right there, I'd say. Um, oh, maybe, I don't know, pine trees somewhere out west, maybe. Um, more beautiful. Oh, that looks kind of like mm, maybe North Carolina. Clouds and mist and blues and greens. Oh, I'm going to call this Hawaii, maybe. And what is this one? Oh, it's like the moon or something. Um, but beautiful, right? So cool patterns on that side. And then I have to flip them over. And is that all? F I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm missing one. Here we go. <clears throat> and then some kind of fun... I don't know, geometric patterns, I guess I'd say on the other side. So I don't even, we don't even have words for these, but they're really cool, right? So we are gonna have lots of fun. That's like a blue starry sky, right? This almost looks like brick or something, but obviously not in brick colors. This is my favorite pattern right here. This is these fun, bright kind of oranges and pinks. Those are my colors. And then this one is kind of, um, almost looks like a Southwest um, motif to it also. So very interesting paper pack and very different right from one side to the other right we've got some lots of cool patterns so hello Eve thanks for joining us so yeah lots and lots of fun today we are going to have with this designer series paper what else do we have going on oh let me I always have to check my notes but yes 15 year anniversary you guys I am like when I really think back on that I'm like 15 years it's like went by and like you know how that happens right in the blink of an eye I can't believe so I celebrated I guess I should back up and say my 15 year anniversary with Stampin Up so in terms of buying the starter kit I was definitely a customer sorry there was like a you know I don't know like a dust flight around, had to get that out of there. Um, I definitely started playing with Stampin' Up! products and going to classes and things even before that. So I've really been a part of, or Stampin' Up! has been a part of my life. Hello, Trish, hello, Teresa, for longer than um, 15 years. But in terms of like May, or sorry, March 15, 15 years ago. So what does that make it? Was it 2008? right? Because it's 2023. Yeah, that's 15 years. So March 15, 2008 was the day that I had back then, like the um, paperwork, like you, I don't even know if you could do it online. Honestly, I think you had to like fill out the paperwork. I got the starter kit through my friend Roxanne. Hello, Sharon. Um, <clears throat> and back then it was super like predetermined um, exactly what you could get in your starter kit. I think you could change out a few things or, you know, you, you could pick, I don't know, between a few stamp sets. Um, I don't, I'm trying to remember, but it was definitely not just free for all, pick whatever you want, right? So it was much more, I think there were so many ink pads and maybe packs of cardstock and I, I can't even quite remember, but 
very different. Things have definitely changed and evolved over the times, and I have definitely become a much better paper crafter as all of those years have gone on, too. And I just, it's funny because um, another friend of mine just celebrated a Stampin' Up! anniversary, and she had this beautiful post on Facebook about kind of all of her thoughts and memories. And I am like not a good, like not good with words kind of person. I'm like an accountant, so numbers and that's my thing. Sharon, five year anniversary on Sunday. Yay, awesome. I know five years goes by fast too, doesn't it? But so anyway, I literally, I was like, I, I would love to just like copy and paste this and put it over on our um, Facebook group. And I don't know, maybe I will. But she just had so many great thoughts and sentiments. And like I said, I'm just not so good. I'm not like super flowery with the words like that. And it wasn't even flowery. It was super heartfelt and just beautiful. And I thought, yes, what she said is exactly what I feel and what I want to say too in terms of, you know, especially like all of you right here on Facebook Live that are so faithful. I've been, you know, doing this basically every other Friday for the most part for probably the past year or so. My other jobs changed pretty significantly and continue to change too. So I'm just not able to do the Facebook Lives every Friday like I used to be able to, but you guys have hung in there with me because I know it's confusing. Like, is it this Friday? Is it next Friday? I do always try to post right here in our Facebook group um, about that. Oh, you're welcome, Trish, for your $25 shopping spree. You're welcome. You're welcome. So yeah, Trish uh, just um, got to what's called qualified recruit status at $900 in sales after she bought her starter kit. So I reward anyone in my team that does that with a $25 shopping spree. So that's what her comment is referring to. So I'm getting off on lots of different tangents. But my point basically is it's been an amazing ride, an amazing journey. Um, I have met so very many people and that's what most everyone that's truly, you know, that's in Stampin' Up! May, not even for a business, right? A lot of us are just hobbyists too, but the people are what kind of really make this whole thing so much better than it could even be just in terms of the paper crafting. Um, I've definitely like learned so much. I mean, I'm so grateful that we have Pinterest and YouTube and all those different forums to share so that I can share with you guys what I've been up to, but also to find inspiration too. Because like I said, I'm like an accountant. I'm a numbers girl. This whole creativity thing, I can appreciate cool, cute stuff, but I have a hard time coming up with it. So I'll go out there and kind of just to get my wheels turning, I'll look at other people's ideas and what they've done. And then I'm like, oh, it's like a good jumping off point. So don't ever feel bad about that either too. That's something to definitely keep in mind. Not everyone is creative. Like everyone is made differently, right? Everyone has their strengths and maybe their weaknesses. And truly like being creative is probably not a strength of mine. Um, but like I said, with all of the sharing that goes on, our beautiful catalogs that we have it's a lot easier um, <clears throat> to make cute things and there's no shame in copying that casing copy and share everything you see that case I cased something that's what that means copy and share everything Stampin' Up! loves uh, for us to do that right um <laughs> Sharon, that is too funny. If you don't have the words, there's a stamp for that. You're right. There probably is. Yes, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in your stash, right? Because I get rid of all my old stuff. But I bet in your stash, there's definitely a stamp set for that. So yeah, now I'm totally like, I don't know what where I was going with any of that. But but thank you. Thank you guys for all of your comments because I've been like posting and posting right about the 15 year anniversary because it is a really big deal. I will tell you that I was actually at my other job on Wednesday, March 15th this week. And it kind of just like totally passed me by. So I'm like kind of additionally celebrating today with you guys on March 17th um, because I literally, I think I worked until 9.30 on Wednesday night at my office job kind of thing. So Stampin' Up! really wasn't even anything I was doing much on Wednesday. So hi Beth, thanks for joining us. So I do have to say, oh yeah, so posts, like comments on um, my Facebook posts. I've gotten so many nice email and text messages. So thank you guys all for the congratulations. I really, really appreciate that. And I, I just love that I have met every single one of you through this. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, you guys fill me up. I love, you know, popping on here and seeing all your names pop up. Um, and sharing what I'm up to with you guys um, and sharing what other people are up to. With that being said, so for example, my friend, um, 
This is from Luann Cruttenden. She sent me this beautiful 15-year um, anniversary card and it's super cute. So this is beautiful, right? And then check this out, because I opened it up and I was like, whoa, look at all of that. Look, So all of this cute, like all of those candles inside there too. And this is some of the designer series paper that it is in the mini catalog, that host. I think it's, gosh, what is that? Flowers for everything, maybe I think it's called. Designer series paper. So, and she's, got, <laughs> I love her little sentiment in here, in here. She says, 15 years of stamping and sharing and caring. Congratulations, Amy. Heart or love, Luann Cruttenden. So thank you, Luann. That was a beautiful 15 year anniversary. And you guys, can you see there? It's kind of that twine was kind of covering it up, but she stamped the 15 years and all those fun, bright colors that of course coordinate with that cardstock. And then Teresa, who I think is on here right now too, she sent me this super cute St. Patrick's Day card and I you know I sent her a message saying thank you I love this this is so cute she's like yeah I cased that from the mini catalog and I looked sure enough on the page that has um, this stamp set and punch which unfortunately don't love this punch because it's not available any longer it's already like sold out I guess it must have sold super quickly because it's not available any longer unfortunately you could still fussy cut so it would still be all right you can still get the stamp set but so cute right so she cased this right from the catalog would have never known so i think sometimes people are like oh yeah i didn't like design that myself i'm embarrassed i i copied that i cased that from somewhere else most times people don't even know where you got it from so keep that in mind also but it's always great to um reference whoever you did copy it from give them credit don't act like it's your um, project you know give whoever came up with the idea the credit but yeah own own that um, but you know you made this card too so thank you so much and I love her little um, stamp on the back there too it says the handmade by Teresa so super duper cute so thank you guys for those handmade cards I appreciate that right we love to send handmade cards love to to send and receive handmade cards right okay so let's see bouncing off the walls today. I don't know what it is, but I think it's because I got a really good night's sleep last night because I've been going, 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 going all week. And then last night I was going to do some more work and I was like, oh, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So gave myself a break and now I'm feeling good and ready to go again. Okay. Uh, so, oh, quick reminder to our next one day retreat. And thank you guys so much. I've had I've been like surprised at how many people have signed up already. So I'm super duper excited about that because I had to change the date and that was really bumming me out because a couple people that were planning to come aren't able to come to the, the date change date. So I was like, oh, did I screw this up? But I'm like getting the word out and more and more people are signing up. So if you're interested, the one day crafting retreat right here in Alma is on Saturday, April 29th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Right here, meaning in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church, which I think... I guess I'd point kind of out over that way, right? <laughs> anyway, that's where we'll be. We've done that a couple of times. It's a fabulous space to be able to spread out. Everyone gets a six foot table, six or eight foot, maybe even be eight feet, eight foot tables. Um, anyway, so lots of room for everybody um, in there. And I feed you and we have a goodie bag with a bunch of cute products in it. We have make and takes featuring products from the goodie bag. I make little table treats, so little gifts to, for everybody throughout the day. We always have lots of snacks on hand so you're never hungry. Love to feed you guys a fabulous lunch and dinner. So if you're interested, let me know. It's $64 for the entire day. That's for all the food and the goodie bag and kind of all the fun throughout the day. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, I wanted to make sure <clears throat> to let everybody know that um, if you want to, if you're able to sign up and prepay by next Friday, March 24th, you get an extra free gift in your goodie bag. Okay. Final RSVPs are due by Monday, April 17th, again, for the retreat on Saturday, April 29th. And I'll include the link to all the details above this Facebook Live video. So if you didn't hear anything, can't remember, find that link. And I'm posting on Facebook too, right? So the links are all there also right here. I try to put everything that I have going on right here on our Facebook group. So if you're not sure about something, pop right on to our Facebook group and you should be able to find a post that has more information on it or just send me a message and I'm happy to answer your question. Okay. Um, all right. I've been going so fast. Let me just make sure. Um, yep. We did that. We did that. <clears throat> Okay, I thought I missed something, but I'm good. Okay, so 
Let's do, where's my, there it is. <laughs> I'm like, where's my little basket? We're gonna do our first drawing for the beautiful, my most favorite. I've gone to these so many times, the iridescent rhinestones. Love the bling, right? And these are a perfect accent. I think that iridescence, right? They're kind of pink, blue, purple, green, yellow, whatever color you need them to kind of tend to. That's what happens when you put these on your project. So we are going to draw for those iridescent rhinestones. Your name is in my lucky Stampin' Up! basket right here. If you shared last time's Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, the link is always above this Facebook Live video, especially if you're new to me and you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and do that. And your name is in here. And then the third way is my class to go kit post. So this month it's the Sweet Citrus class to go. If you see any of those posts on this Facebook group, share that for me pretty, pretty, pretty please. I'm trying to reach um, new friends that would love to get these class to go kits from me. So you're sharing that class to go kit post is a huge help for me. And and it also gets your name in this drawing um, to win those iridescent rhinestones. So hello, Miss Monica. Thanks for joining us. Okay, <clears throat> so those are the three ways, right? And that's, we'll continue to do that. I love and truly appreciate you guys sharing in that. Uh, if you're on other paper crafting groups, I'd love for you to share this video on those paper crafting groups and those class to go kit posts. Again, the sweet citrus, you're gonna see a bunch of like citrus looking cards on there. Share that post for me pretty please. It's a huge help for me to kind of um, expand my business, which is, you know, um, what I'm here for. I gotta pay my bills too, right? Like we all do, right? We need to uh, earn, a little, earn a little income and pay those bills. Okay, especially with two kids in college, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, here we go. One lucky winner we have, Miss, oh, I thought it was somebody else, but Miss Debbie Green, congratulations, Debbie. I was gonna say a different name. I'm like, oh, I'm glad I double checked that. So Miss Debbie, congratulations. You are the winner of those iridescent rhinestones and I will get those sent out to you. Thank you for your share. All right, let me get, <clears throat> there, have to get those names out to get ready for the next drawing. Uh, but in the meantime, I can already feel a couple of them stuck together, so I'm trying to get those separated. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is gonna be two weeks from today, so that's like the end of the month, right? So it's gonna be March 31st, right? March 31st, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh my goodness. So yes, on March 31st will be our next Facebook Live, and we are going to give away these cute little, they are called the gold faceted adhesive backed sequins and i have to open them up because there's another little um, treat hiding underneath this little flap that you can't see so look at oop oh those aren't really attached on there are they okay so we have i think they're kind of like little half moons and then um, just kind of a regular sequin, kind of small and medium. And then these almost look like a raindrop or a teardrop or something. I don't know, they don't, they don't specify what those shapes are, but you could have lots of fun with these, right? And you can see, ooh, they're so beautiful, but they've got the adhesive right on the back of them. So you don't have to add anything to them. They kind of look like earrings too, don't they? Like if I wore earrings, I could put that right on there maybe. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Since I don't wear earrings, I'll just stick those on my ear. <laughs> How about that? That'd be a good idea, huh? You never know, maybe tonight, maybe I will. <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so yes, share this video right here. Share my sweet citrus class to go post um, or sign up for my email list and your name will go in the drawing to win those gold sequins on our next Facebook Live on March 31st, okay? All right, <clears throat> what else do we have going on? Mm. Oh yeah, okay, I, had an, I was gonna talk about that, but we're gonna wait for next time on that one. Oh, let's, oh I know what I wanna talk about. Uh, color refresh, okay? So I've been commenting and mentioning it, and I do want to tell you. So what we, what we know, kinda sorta for sure, is that these five in colors are going away, I think. I mean, there's a chance one of them could stick around as a core color now, but in terms of an in color, I, I would say just to be safe, if you love, like I just had a gal, email me and say, I need to get three packs of the Evening Evergreen and three packs of the Soft Succulent cardstock. Do it now, okay, before, because what I did, I just looked on the inventory status report now, it's been a day or two, but the ink pads in all of these colors are on low inventory. So those things are gonna go like hotcakes, will sell out, I'm sure. Um, and I noticed that too, so 
with this color refresh that we have going on, like all of like the subtles, regals, neutrals, um, and right, subtles, regals, brights, and neutrals, right? Because we have four different color packs. Those ink pads are all on low inventory also, the whole kind of kit of them, because you get a discount too if you buy them all together um, in kind of the bundle. Um, <clears throat> then you get a discount on those ink pads. So and those are on low inventory too. So the point is, these 2021, 2023 in colors, get whatever you want in these colors while we know for sure that they're still available. Because I'm sure, I mean, at least four out of five of these colors are probably going to retire, right? Although we love them, right? We always look forward to the new in colors. We're sad to see the old in colors go. Um, but then again, with the color refresh. So anything, anything is kind of up for grabs. Brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, any of those colors and any of these in colors um, that are retiring could go away for good. So if you, especially cardstock, right? If you love a certain color, if you love Evening Evergreen, buy that. If you love Pale Papaya, buy that cardstock. If you love Soft Succulent, buy that cardstock. Fresh Freesia and Polished Pink, or any of our core colors in the Subtles, Brights, Regals, or Neutrals, get whatever you want. If you love the ribbon, um, if you need an ink refill for any of those things, get those things now because at the end of the month, I think it's March 29th, we're going to learn more about the color renovation. I'm sure then they'll tell us what colors are going away and what colors are coming in and probably they're gonna be some fun new colors. So it's always exciting, but also a little bit sad if, if they're retiring something um, that you love. So get it now while you can um, so you don't have any worries about, oh, it sold out before I could get it because it will happen. I promise you it will happen. Someone will be messaging me um, on March 31st saying, oh my God, I totally love Evening Evergreen and I can't get the cardstock anymore. Do you have any cardstock? <laughs> so hello, Renee. So I'll do my best to help you guys out. I have a little stash of these things. Not a lot though, okay? So get what you can while you can before they announce what's retiring is my point, okay? So you got a couple, I don't know what, like a week and a half, I guess I'd say, 10 days maybe. Um, use the host code that's on my um, on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. When you put your order in for those um, col in color products or you know any of those colors that you want to make sure you get um, products in, right? And then you get your name in the Facebook Live drawing that we do right here too. Um, okay, so yeah, we talked about that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so. Let's do our first drawing, okay? Um, well, I guess, yeah, our second drawing, I guess I should say that, right? Okay, I gotta move these things out of the way here. And where is my water bottle? Somewhere around here, I'll find it. All of a sudden I'm like, ooh, I think I need some water. But okay, so we are going to draw now for, oh yeah, once again, the 2021-2023 In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. So again, and this is such pretty paper. So this paper is going to go away too in, why can't I, there we go. Why do I not, there, can you guys, oh, <laughs> there, like I can, I didn't see my green, yes. So I'm sure all of this pattern paper in the in colors and the brights, regal, subtles, and neutrals will be retiring. Hello, Erica, thanks for joining us um, because some of those colors will be retiring as well. So we are going to draw right now for this in color pack of paper. You got your name in the drawing in this basket if you put an online order through me of at least $50 um, using the host code that I will give you again in just a little bit. Hello, Miss Charlene, thanks for joining us. Uh, you also automatically get both of these projects, these super cute little Easter, so Easter card and Easter treat box. When I mail this, I am going to mail it flat and I'm gonna put some tear and tape um, right on the box so you guys can put it together once you get it so that then it's not all smashed up. But I'll have everything all done. You'll just have to do a quick assembly on the box and then you'll get the card as well, okay? So you'll definitely um, get both of those if you put an online order in through me. Um, of over $50. You also got to pick from a free embellishment, which this month kind of is the adhesive backed milky dots or the demo design dream team. Look at how cute this is. All the like fun spring Easter stuff in here. You can pick this 16 project tutorial. So either one of these, the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. The one thing I do have to say is these things have sold out already. So I have a few packages of these, but I, I'll have to come up with another 
um, uh, um, another, what am I saying? Another free embellishment <laughs> for the rest of March um, if you put an order in through me, okay? So don't get your heart set on these because um, these are almost all gone, like what I, my stash of them. So I'll, I'll come up with another fabulous free embellishment though too, okay? So does that make sense? You get those Easter projects you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a free embellishment. Your name is in the drawing right now to win this designer series paper. Plus, we are celebrating my 15-year anniversary with 15 free handmade cards. So I will mail all of that out to you as a thank you. And one lucky person is also going to get this um, in color designer series paper now too. Okay, so here we go. Oh, actually, I have to show you. This is my card. Does it open? Yes, this is the card that I um, submitted for the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial this month. So if you get this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to make a that card also. Okay, so we are going to do our drawing now. Yay, and thank you guys so much. I was really like, um, what do I want to say? I was just very... Uh, kind of overwhelmed and grateful for the orders that came in as um, for the 15 year anniversary. So thank you guys. I'm sure the 15 cards was also a great incentive too, but thank you, thank you, thank you for your orders. Yeah, humbled, that's a good word too. Like, oh my gosh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we go. The winner is Miss Brenda Aker. All right, congratulations, Brenda. You are the winner of that 2021-23 in color designer series paper. And I wanna tell you, I since like that was, it was just so awesome to see your orders and your kind of sweet words. I thought, you know what? We're just gonna keep this uh, going the whole rest of March, this 15 year anniversary with 15 free cards. We're gonna do it for the rest of the month, okay? So March 31st is the last day. If you order using the host code that I'm gonna give you in just a minute, your name will go in the drawing to win. This time it's going to be the Regals Designer Series paper. You also get those 15 free cards. You get to pick from a free embellishment or that Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And you're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a moment. And in the meantime, I'm trying to fan this out to do another quick reminder. So here are all of our Regal colors. One of these colors at least is gonna be retiring uh, and with that color renovation, right? So there's one side of that paper and there's the other side. So again, if you love pumpkin pie, that color has been around for forever. Who knows, maybe it goes, right? If you love pumpkin pie, get what you want in pumpkin pie before they announce what's leaving in our color renovation. Okay, so yes, one lucky winner will get that paper. Okay, I think, yes, here we go. Okay, because I have more fun stuff to show you guys. I wanna turn the camera down so things aren't backwards though, okay? So actually, let me get the host code out too. We'll have that all ready to go. Oh, does this ever happen to you guys? I'm like, I see a little dot floating around. It's, I know exactly what it's from. Okay, so that's good to know. My little Easter box. So it had one of those iridescent rhinestones on it. This paper is kind of slidey. And so it popped off. So hopefully I've got that back on there tight so it doesn't come off again. Okay, all right, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. We are gonna have some more fun. And let's see, okay. Oops. I think we're okay. <laughs> I can see it all of a sudden going conk. Okay. There. Okay, so here's our host code for March, the TC4JTHZV. Use that host code and you're going to get all these fun projects that I'll demonstrate in just a moment. I actually want to show you guys. I have been meaning to do this for forever. These are my swap cards. I'll show you actually. So this is the card that I made for a swap that I did like, it feels like forever ago. I think it was back uh, well, it was with this mini catalog, so I guess it probably had to be in December, <laughs> which seems like years ago now, right? So anyway, I made this swap card, of course, featuring this sweet citrus bundle way before I decided I was going to use it as a class to go, but I fell in love with it um, as soon as I saw it in the catalog. So anyway, this is the card that I made. I made 16 of these, and then I got 16 swap cards back, and I thought I would share these. Like I said, I've been meaning to for forever, 
um, share these cards with you. Hi, Lori. How are you? Now, I'm still, I thought I would know more of the names of things, but I am blanking out on most everything right now. This is the Regency Park Designer Series paper and some of that Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. And this is a stamp set that is part of the bundle that also has a flower punch. Can't remember the name of that. If you guys know the names of any of these things, feel free to comment and remind us. Um, but there's one swap card. There's this other, isn't this awesome? And this is the cane weave embossing folder. Some of, that's part of that two-tone flora. I'm trying to remember the designer series paper was so pretty, right? And that might be the two-tone flora um, stamp set right there. And I love this sentiment, right? May the good you do come back to you. That's beautiful, right? Okay, this one is very appropriate, right? For our St. Patrick's Day. Good, a good friend is like a four-leaf clover. Hard to find and lucky to have. So cute. Oh, and she used one of those. Um, th that's what we're giving away on our next Facebook Live if you share this video. She used one of those gold sequins right there. Okay, next we have this thank you for everything. I'm pretty sure this is the stamp from um, that, I don't know, Seaside <laughs> Bundle. Sorry, I'm butchering all of the names of everything. But look at how pretty that is, all the stamping. At first, I thought it was designer series paper. And I went through the paper that's in this suite, and I'm like, no, I didn't see that. So it's probably the stamp. I didn't even look to make sure, but I, I would be pretty positive that's a stamp. But very cool, actually, how she kind of inked up the edges there too, right, in different colors. So pretty, pretty. And then this one is sweet too, right? I love that we are friends. I love that ribbon too. I've been using that. That was in our holiday catalog, and I've continued to love um, that ribbon. It is still available, right? Thank you for your kindness. Super cute. There's more of that glittered ribbon too, the glittered organdy ribbon. This is can you guys hear that? To reconnect. There we go. Okay. Sorry, there was a little blip there, but I think we're good. Um, yeah, I don't think you can hear that. Maybe I got too close. I don't know. But it's like a ridgy um, specialty paper. This one is a pretty one too, isn't it, right? With deepest sympathy. I haven't even used that die. I think is part of, is it part of this? Now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Sorry. You're, you're just going to have to like look up where all these things came. Or or message me if there's one that you just totally love and you can't figure out which one it is in the catalog. Send me a message. I can refer to the catalog and tell you what all of these things are because they're all in there. They're all from the mini catalog too. So from, um, well, I guess I don't have it right here in front of me. But yeah, from, from our spring mini catalog. <laughs> Lori, you finally made it. Good. I'm glad. Thank you. And this one is beautiful too, right? With the bumblebee and it says happy birthday, right? And then how about this one? You are what sunshine feels like. I love that sentiment. I That is one, Sharon, like you said earlier, there's probably a stamp sentiment for that. I love that. You are what sunshine feels like. Oh, what a great thing to say to someone, right? Oh my gosh. And this pretty ribbon, I haven't really even used that ribbon. It's a pale papaya, kind of a velvety ribbon. Beautiful. And then she used some of those gold sequins. There's that little moon, the half moon, and then a couple of those little guys, right? That's from, I think that's like the Arizona suite, the desert suite. Um, and then this is pretty too, right? You are a blessing with look at all of that detailed die cut that she did, die cutting that she did, and then some of the pretty um, designer series paper there. Okay, look at this. There's another one, right? With the seashells embossing folders. You are a pearl rare and precious. Oh, that's awesome, right? And then she used some of like the pearlized paper too. So pretty, right? And then lastly, we have another, oops, this one goes this way. Enjoy the sweeter things in life with more of that sweet citrus um, bundle there also. So beautiful, I love, if you guys don't participate in swaps, you can see all the great ideas you can get. There, actually, this isn't even all of them. I think a few of them are like off, who knows where. Probably use them um, for card class, for the Simple Beautiful card class. I love to use um, these swap cards as ideas for that class as well. So great idea if you want, um, you know, maybe you don't want to buy everything, but you'd love to see what everything looks like and decide, you know, if you need the cane weave embossing folder, right? Participate in a swap and you get to see lots and lots of cool things and then decide what you need yourself. Um, okay, oh, I want to do a quick reminder about the Sweet Citrus class to go. Okay, so 
These are the four cards in this class to go. I'm just going to show you them real quick and just tell you kind of the details. So you make two of each of these cards. So we've got this one, the sending you a big squeeze. I love, love, love these. And you guys see all that texture. I'm going to have to um, show you guys again. Nope, I didn't bring it over. Darn it. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you guys how this works, right? And then this one, have a zesty birthday with some more on the inside. And then this last one, enjoy the sweeter things in life some little stamping inside there, right? So let me show you on, I'll show you on this guy right here. So for example, oh, I know I have the stamp and dies right here. Okay, so here is the bundle, the sweet citrus, the stamp set, and then the dies, and then there's an embossing folder too. So this is the idea. Uh, actually, let me back this up, right? Okay, so you would stamp the outlines, and then you'd stamp, this one is a separate one right there, right? But then these things fit inside there. This is what you come up with. Then you put the dies that cut these things out right into the embossing folder, and then you put the paper in there also. And so what it does is it cuts and embosses all at the same time. So can you guys see it cut this and it made all those ridgy. This is this looks so real. Like I want to squeeze this lime, right? Nikki, hello. Thanks for joining us. So it's such a cool bundle. Stamps, dies and an embossing folder. Does it all together for you. So very very cool, right? Okay, you also in this class to go, we are featuring the brights. I'm sorry, this is the Regals. Where's my brights? Oh, right here. <laughs> the Brights Designer Series Paper. You also get the full pack of the three twine combo pack and the champagne rhinestones, okay? Plus the bundle, right? So the sweet citrus bundle, all of these things, you actually get the rhinestones for free. We we'll scoot that up a little bit more. In option number one, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put those cards together. Option number one, it's a whopper, but you get a ton of product, ton of great ideas, $92. If you already have the bundle, so the stamps, the dies, and the embossing folder, you're gonna get the Brights DSP, the champagne rhinestones, stones and the three twine combo pack. Don't say that too fast because you will will <laughs> you will not succeed like I pretty much didn't there either. Okay. Option number two with the PDF tutorial for these cards, you make two of each of them also, right? I send you all the parts and pieces. Option number two is $41. It's an additional $10 for priority mail shipping. Option number three, just the PDF tutorial, $15 available anytime, any, like, I don't know, years from now, I'll still have this tutorial if you want it. Then option number four is for my downline. Any of my inspired stampers, they can get the PDF tutorial for free or the make and takes for these four cards, two of each of them, for just $15. I give them the DSP, the rhinestones, and the twine. They get the stamp set dies and embossing folder through their own demo ID and use their 20% discount on that. So option number four for my downline is $15. RSVPs are due by next Friday, March 24th, and the kits will ship out no later than April 5th. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. These cards are so fun, so bright, so cheerful. You are going to want to play with this stuff and you're gonna want to grace someone with these cute cards in their mailbox as well. Uh, actually, one other thing I should mention too, those class to go kits. If you decide, oh my gosh, I love these. Amy does a great job in these every single month. You might want to think about joining the class to go kit club. You can pick either option number one or option number two. Every single month, it's a 12 month club. If there's one month that you're like, oh, that really does not appeal to me. I don't know why she picked that. Uh, just tell me, well, maybe don't say quite that, but just tell me you're not interested in that month's to go kit. We'll just add another month on at the end of your 12 month um, club and then you still get the host benefits one month when you um, are the hostess of the card to go kit club that's the fun benefit right if you um, join the class to go kit club one month you get thirty dollars at least in, th in free host benefits for being a part of the club. And I ship those kits out to you every single month. Like I said, you can pick option number one, option number two. I have lots of people that are demonstrators that already um, can get things at a discount. So they just get option number two and then get the stamp set and dies or whatever I'm using um, for option number one um, using their own demo idea to get the discount. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions on that too because I'd love to get more people um, onto that class to go kit club. Sorry, I'm over here like trying to, what am I doing next? Okay, let's see. Um, I am going to grab, we are, we are gonna do our stamping now, ladies. 
done talking. <laughs> Hello, Miss Pam. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we are, there we go. We are in view. Okay, I need a sip of water, which is like literally nowhere to be found. Okay, I can do it. It's all right. I love water, so, <laughs> but I can make it a whole hour without having any water. I know I can do it. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so here is our first project. Again, featuring that um, Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper. I went with the kind of um, geometric patterns on this particular card, right? I love, <laughs> love just those fun, bright colors on there, right? And I've got another story for you that I'll share um, in just a moment about those little flowers too. Okay, so let's get what we need here. Okay. Okay. Trying to get everything out that I need. <clears throat> All right, so let me tell you I think I've got it kind of lined up here, right? Let me give you dimensions on things. So this actually is just a quarter of a piece of melon mambo cardstock. So if you can imagine, we started with an eight and a half by 11 piece. I cut it in half at five and a half inches right here. And then again, I cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. And this is our card base right there, just that one piece, okay? Then we are going to layer on this piece of designer series paper that measures three by four inches. That's going to go right there. And again, this is more of that enjoy the journey designer series paper. Okay. Next we have, so this is Melon Mambo and this is Polished Pink, one of our retiring in colors. This piece measures three and five eighths by nine and three quarters. Let me make sure. Yep. And then we're gonna score it at four and seven eighths, okay? So that's gonna go like that, right on there, right? Next, we'll do this piece of basic white cardstock right here, measures three and a half by four and three quarters. That's gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna close that up, right? Then on the outside, same thing. This is another piece of the Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper that measures three and a half by four and three quarters. That's gonna go right there. And then two more pieces, polished pink cardstock that measures two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and basic white cardstock that measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. That was a lot to take in. I will have all the details on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? So if you missed any of that, you can hit replay later or you can hop onto my blog and you'll see it all there, okay? So we are going to do this stamping on our white pieces, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna do this. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration and then happy birthday right there, okay? So we are using, this is the Something Fancy stamp set. So we've got that sentiment and then the little happy birthday right there. And we are gonna stamp on this little piece and we're gonna try to get it centered, right? Because we want to, we're gonna um, kind of emboss, etch that, I guess I'd say. Glasses, I'm gonna put my glasses on now too, ladies. Okay, I guess if I do it upside down, it's probably not gonna matter because I can just flip it over. Okay, there we go. And then on the inside, we have our little happy birthday. So let's just make sure we're good with that one. Okay, perfect. You guys saw, I just did the nice, easy tap, 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 and you press straight down, lift straight up, then you don't wiggle or rock or get things in all kinds of places that you don't need them. Now, this is my silly little thing, right? I've got, <laughs> I had, I don't know how many of these. I had a pile of these little flowers from some other project for forever on my craft table. And I, you know, I don't get rid of things just in case. So I finally was like, you know what? This card needed a little something else. And I looked at those flowers and I was like, oh my goodness, I found like the project that we're gonna use these on. So this is Petal Pink cardstock stamped with Petal Pink ink. We used this little Flowers of Friendship, this smaller stamp right here, and then the Coordinating Punch, which has not exactly the same name, but I will include it on <laughs> my blog this afternoon. But basically all I did was stamp that 
in Petal Pink ink on Petal Pink cardstock, punch it out with that, and I have a bunch of these little flowers right there too. So I won't bore you with watching me do that. The one thing I will tell you though is you want to look at how this punch is